Tonight, Chicago business owners are dealing with major damage after thieves broke in to steal their ATM machines. Our Tira Molina went to one shop where the burglars busted in through the roof. We're giving you a bird's eye view of how thieves broke into this Burnside convenience store, breaking through the roof, through the ceiling, all to get to the ATM that's right underneath. It's another small business hit, something we talked to the ATM Industry Association about. Thousands of dollars in damage. They're not sure when they'll be able to get this fully repaired in Burnside, let alone when they'll fix this, the ATM the crew was after. This is one of four businesses hit early Friday morning. Their surveillance video from two of those businesses. Owners didn't want to go on camera, but tell us these burglaries are major hits to their bottom line, considering the damage done to their stores. There are a few states that uh, have passed their own laws for uh, ATM theft, but um, not, uh, not Illinois. David Tente, president of the ATM Security Association, told me they're tracking the rise in crimes. 600% increase from 2019 to 2022. And with 55 to 60% of ATMs independently owned. The ATM is really a pretty important uh, piece of equipment for most, uh, most retail establishments. Tente explained there's a reason small business owners want to keep ATMs in their stores. But it does increase foot traffic. Uh, people come in to use it. Uh, also, 25 to 50 percent or so of uh, the cap you know, of those who do use the ATM spend some of that cash in the in the store itself. But with thefts on the rise, it's definitely affecting insurance rates. It's foot traffic that's just not worth it for some. If the thefts are very very common, all of a sudden the insurance company may either raise your rates or or deny you coverage for for that particular type of uh, of theft. Chicago police are still investigating all of these burglaries. Right now, they aren't saying if they believe the same crew could be behind them, but they have no one in custody. Reporting in the Burnside neighborhood, I'm Tara Molina, CBS News, Chicago.